Hmm, what happened? And we are live. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year to all of our friends out there on the internet, and hello to all of our subscribers. I was kind of delaying the start of our stream here tonight because some of these kids having a meltdown a couple of miles over, and it is loud, man. I would hate to be over there at ground zero. So anyway, uh, what I want to do here is I'll flip the camera around, and I'm going to take you right over we're going to start right in there's a lot of good home remodeling stuff that went on sale here because you know it's the new year let me just show you here it's the new year and there's a new flyer and it all starts today here at costco here so with this new flyer there's some really good stellar deals so look at this man i'm just going to show you real quick right here this is where the whole christmas section was over here and i came in here two nights before christmas and it was gone like everything just disappeared so i don't even think they put it on sale I think it just went and they just got rid of it because you can't get rid of all of that stuff, especially the stuff that never sells anyway. So anyway, um, we'll come back to that section in a bit. I want to show you guys this one here. This is a stellar deal right here. So this right here is a, uh, a pressure washer here, gasoline powered. And the reason why I like this one so good is because of that right there. You guys know I love my Honda engines. I have a Honda lawnmower. They are the best. They are the, the most reliable, and they start up really good. So this guy is in the flyer right now, and it's I'll show you right here. There it is. So they got $30 off at $349. And so the ratings on this one here is 3,100 PSI, which is a, right around my minimum. I, I like any anything that's over 3,000. Jeff, those sweater jackets are the best. Okay, and then this right here is 2.5 gallons per minute, which I like that. That's healthy. So both of these are healthy numbers. Sometimes you go to Home Depot and you'll, you'll find cheaper pressure washers over there, but you're going to see stuff like 15, 1700 PSI, and that to me doesn't clean it. If you want to be able to clean really, really filthy sidewalks, you've got to have anything over 3000 PSI is my uh, kind of minimum here. And this one has the soap on there, too. Although, you know, with a really good machine like these, you don't even really need the soap at all. Don't forget to always use a surface cleaner, you know. Um, you know, the last few that we rented, I didn't even use a cleaner, and, it, and they, they worked really well. Probably because of the high... Um, the ones I rent are usually 3,500 PSI with around the same 2.5 gallons per minute on them, okay? But, yeah, this is a, a really good deal here. And then let me show you what they got right here next to it. Now, this is Costco. This is not Costco, like the, the store. So you have Costco carrying Costco, which is kind of ironic. So this one here is a three-in-one uh, hand truck here. And what I like about this one here is it's got the flat-free tires on it. You see? So everybody I know that's ever had air, air tires on theirs always have problems with them. It just doesn't hold the air. So this guy's on sale right now for $74.99. See, so it is right there. Normally 99 bucks. You missed the price on the pressure washer. I'm gonna I'm right next to it, so I'll come right back and show you again. What's up, Rich? Alright, so yeah, here it is right there. And then next to it you got this little stainless toilet brush pack here these are look these are nice because i can't stand it when people have those stupid cheap looking white plastic things next to the toilet it really just cheapens the look of the bathroom when you have that you know so happy new year bigfoot thank you and i want to show you this guy because this is on it's it's back in stock they just got this back in last week and i i showed you guys this before in the summer when they had it this is that trinity sink and i, and I wish they had one out here on the display they don't have one here love the channel you're up here in orlando hey jared thanks um so this sink right here is 199 so it's 50 bucks off right now this is a steal <laughs> get the pun literally it's a steal because uh, and i wish they would they, yeah here's here's a picture of it here so i showed you this on the floor when they had it here in the summer this was a gorgeous gorgeous sink and it beats the heck out of those cheap plastic ones that you see at the big box stores but you know of course you're paying 200 bucks in, instead of 50 right but still that's a, a great deal and that that just looks really nice i've seen that in here before and then the other sale price and and i hope we don't lose too much signal going down this aisle has always been problematic here at this particular costco i don't know why but here you got this kohler this is a uh 
I call it a professional one. They're calling it for some stupid reason, semi-professional, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's either, look, you're either professional or you're not. I'm semi-pregnant, you know? So I don't understand that. But yeah, this one here is $40 off the normal price here, down to $199. So, uh, let's see, Josh is saying that if you want to do any pressure washing of houses or cement, you want nothing but gas-powered. Yep, electric just can't keep up. Um, some of the newer ones I'm seeing at, at Home Depot, I'd like to see somebody do a, a tool review on one of those, the, the battery-powered ones, you know. So, yeah, so anyway, I don't know why they're calling it semi-professional. It looks like the ones you see in the restaurants, so it looks professional to me. By the way, I never install these things. I know people people tend to have problems with them over time, so I have had to go in and replace a few for a few friends over over the years. This Delta one here, it's off the sale. This was on sale before. I think it was either 139 or 149. So you just watch and wait. A lot of these things will will they like go roller coastering every other month. I'm on the sale, I'm off the sale, I'm on sale, I'm off the sale. Okay. So this particular price cut here is from the manufacturer because that's why you, when you see instant savings and you can tell because when it ends in the 99, whenever you see a price here at Costco ending in 99, it means that it's Costco's regular price and there's no price break or anything. And then when you see anything like this, it means it came from the manufacturer. Now, if it says like 97 cents, it means that the manager here has taken liberty and gone ahead and put something on a discount that's not in the flyer just to move it. Uh, the Moen, the Moen uh, faucet here, this thing was on sale before. I think it was down to like $64.99. So he's off sale now. He's no, no longer on sale. That was a pretty decent deal. And I told you guys about this, this light here. So this is on sale right now. Now this came in about two months ago and I told you guys, wait for it. Don't, don't buy anything here the minute it comes in. You wait a month or two. And sure enough, it's going to go on sale, and just like this one is. So now it's $45 instead of $60. So what this thing here is, is really cool. It's a skylight, and it's basically much nicer looking and much more even lighting than a fluorescent. Well, I guess it's about the same as fluorescent lighting. But there's just something about it that looks kind of cool on this one here. So this is a, a 3700 lumen light. And not sure what the color temperature is. And it's dimmable, too. So it's an ultra thin panel see that it's about uh let me try to get the exposure right for you really can't help it because of the light there yeah there you go so see how thin it is it's like a one inch panel there so you put that up on your your ceiling there and if you're remodeling your bathroom this is where you should go now this is not on sale right now but it's still a really good price for what they're giving you and i like that they they have this all set up here to show you I've bought like six of these sets last year and I've already put them into like three three projects so far. Whenever these come on sale, I come in here and I'll buy like four, five, six at a time. But what's cool about this is look, for $29.99, folks, you, this is probably, I think, the best deal in all of Costco right now. You're getting two 24-inch brushed nickel. Um, I don't know if it's nickel or steel, but either way, it's brushed. Two 24-inch towel racks. You're getting a hook rack for the back of your door. This is for a hand towel here, and here's your toilet paper thing, which I love these because you don't have to deal with the stupid, uh, that, those plastic spindle things, you know. Here, you just pull the old roll off and put the new one on. But for 30 bucks, do you realize how much this would cost at Home Depot? When I was buying them at Home Depot before, just this towel rack alone would be 25 bucks. And they're giving you two of them in here, plus all of these other things, all right? This alone is usually $21 at, at Home Depot when you buy those there. So this is a, a stellar steal right here. I mean, if you even if you came in and paid $29.99, you're still getting a good deal. And this is kind of interesting. I'm not normally a big fan of shower type caddies, but this one actually looks nice because it's it's all metal. So it would hang up top there. It would hang from your shower thing. And then you got the little mirror on there too. So let's see, Ethan is asking, are you familiar with the KES brand bath fixtures sold on Amazon? No, I have, I have not seen any of those yet. Um, so let me see, I'm, we're hitting the area where I think the signal is going to be the weakest, but I, they have something on sale here for you. So this is the, the waterproof flooring right here. So they have two different colors right here. So you got this one here is more of a tan color. And, but that's not the one that's on sale. This is the one that is. So it's $8 off of the box. 
Okay, so that makes it about $1.90. Now, if I remember correctly, I think these were $2.79 or $2.59. I can't do the math in my head right now. Um, but basically, you're getting quite a discount. So what these are, these are truly waterproof because it's got the rubber on the back and it's like the thick vinyl on the, on the top. And the whole thing's maybe not even a quarter of an inch thick. I thought, you know, my, my impression would always be that these would be too flexible, but this seems nice and rigid though, actually pretty good. So as long as you don't have any dips on your concrete floor, you'll be okay with this one here. And so Apex, hey, what's up? So Apex says, doing well, had a great holiday finishing up working. We'll be listening until able to chat. Thanks for the stream. Okay, so remember, these are 100% waterproof. If you're looking for waterproof, make sure you actually get waterproof. And I'll show you how they mislead you here. So let me see if I can get this box here and turn it around. Uh, find out where it says on there, waterproof. Oh, yeah, so right here. It says right there, waterproof. Okay. When you come over to these other ones, these other ones make it look like the water. See, so you got that big blue water dropping, and you think, oh, wow, this is waterproof. Oh, yeah. Look, no worry, water resistant. Oh, wait a minute, water resistant. See, there's a difference. There's a difference between that word, water resistant, and waterproof. So you gotta really know what you're buying when you're buying the flooring here. So this one here says here, guarantee to resist spills up to 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, the plot thickens, folks. The plot thickens there. So that's what you gotta watch out for. So to me, this isn't really Waterproof and I don't even see how they could say it's water resistant. Can you hear that kid screaming in the background? James having his meltdown. They're coming. They're one. They're one aisle over from me All right, so this is MDF right here, which is basically almost the same thing as that stupid particle board they use on the really cheap um, Cabinets in your kitchen there. So that's really not going to be waterproof for very long All right, I'm getting the heck out of this aisle. I'm trying to get one aisle more over Hopefully we lose signal here on that. Is that pressure washer still available? Yeah, I just showed it a few minutes ago. I'm gonna walk right by it in a, in a minute here as we exit this aisle. Uh, I wanted to see, so all of the other stuff that was on sale came off the sale price. This one was never on sale. So they just got these vacs in a few months ago, these DeWalt uh, wet dry vacuums, 10 gallon, $89.99. And I was hoping they would have put them on sale, but they didn't. So at Black Friday at, at Home Depot, I ended up getting that 16-gallon rigid shop vac that was a $39 door buster price. And I used my 10% off uh, Lowe's coupon, too, for that because they take the Lowe's coupon over there at Home Depot. So uh, the Titan screwdriver set is back on sale again, and I don't know why they didn't blow out of these. I thought for sure that because they've had these at $14.99 before around Black Friday, and they should have blown out of these. These are a really good set. I mean, where else can you get a set of this many screwdrivers of all sizes, including the stubbies, including the real big ones, and they're all magnetic tips, and you got the uh, micro fine ones, and you got the hooks there. I mean, where else can you can you get any of that? And yeah, Josh has that right on the, hit the hammer right on the head with that. All of that MDF stuff, you just can't get it wet. It's fine if you never have a spill but you can't get it wet here. All right, so now we're looking at the DeWalt set here. That was the one I did that tool review on for you guys a couple of weeks ago. So this one is back up to 99 bucks. So I thought for sure after Christmas, maybe they would do something on this and, and drop the price on it, but they didn't. It's still sitting here, it, it came back up. So they had it for 79 bucks for a while and that's when you guys saw me buy it back in like October. So if you haven't seen my tool review video for this, you got to go see it. It's really good. We did drop testing on this. We compared this set to the Sears Craft, not Sears Craft, but the Craftsman 216 piece three drawer set and did drop testing on both of those. That was pretty cool. But look, at 99 bucks, they basically had this pallet sitting here like this all year long from June when they first got them in. And I kept watching them week after week to see if they would drop the price and they didn't. And they didn't sell a single one of these until they lowered the price to 79. And they kept moving them here. They had them out, out in the middle of the floor. They had them out by the front, by the door. And it's like, man, the, the stock guys here, I feel bad for them. They must have gotten tired of moving this stupid thing around all over the place. And they just couldn't sell them. So I think they're crazy putting it back up to $99. That's insane. They're just not going to sell them. And look, they have another stash of them here. 
And I saw on the other aisle, on the back up top there, there's another pallet of them. So I don't know, these guys are nuts. They're never gonna sell out of them. And, and they still got this Porter Cable uh, five tool combo kit here for 249. Did they reduce the channel lock set at Sam's yet? Um, well, actually that channel lock set was $69. If you guys saw, I uploaded the other day my tool review of that. That was $69, uh, yeah, $69 is what I paid for it on that one day sale two weeks ago at, at Sam's Club. But they've upped the price the next day back to 89 and I don't even know if they still have any left because they don't normally carry it in the stores. All right, I uh, suggest so a uh, real quick review before I leave this aisle here. Here's that Costco hand truck here. That's listed for 25 bucks off at 74.99. And then right next to it is the pressure washer that we were talking about, that Honda with the Honda on it. It's made by Power Stroke, but they're using the Honda engine. And so this guy's 349. You have 60 left. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm going to go back into Sam's and see. I mean, I can't imagine that they were going to sell a whole lot of them at um, 89. Hey, by the way, you know, when I when I got home and opened my case, if you guys look at my um, tool review on that channel lock set, you'll notice that my ratchet was missing a screw. You know, there's two screws that hold it together. It's missing a screw. So I don't know if they screwed up at the factory or what. So, so what's up, Gearhead? All right, so what they did was since they got rid of all of the uh, Christmas stuff, they brought in some furniture. So they actually got some Thomasville. This is a Thomasville sectional right here. And you guys know what I always tell you. Don't ever come in and buy it at, that, at this price right when it lands in the, on the floor here. you got to give it like a month. It's probably going to drop. Uh, typically what I've seen with furniture throughout last summer, they would drop the prices 200 bucks. So you can expect this to drop 200 or more even. So... It was the pressure washer a month ago that was at 200. It probably wasn't that one. I can guarantee that, not with a Honda engine. Uh, yeah, so this is that Thomas little one. They got this other nice one here too. So this is a, another fabric sectional here that has these kind of old style rivets here. And so this guy here is 749.99. So a lot of these, if they do put them on sale in the coming month or so, you'll probably see them uh, drop 200 bucks on average is what, is what I've seen. Now, some of these, I suspect, like these are, I think are new, but some of the, the sofas we're going to see in here, I think were left over from summer. So I don't know if they sent them somewhere or if they just moved them in the back when the Christmas stuff came in and now they're bringing it back out. So here's another six-piece modular uh, sectional here. This is $9.99. And you got a leather recliner sofa with power headrest here. This is $10.99. Can you hear that kid screaming? Oh, man. The weirdest things happen to me on my live streams. If I'm at Home Depot, I get the, I get the forklifts with the beeping. And when I'm in Costco, I get the kids with the meltdowns. All right, so here's this one here is another reclining love seat for $9.99. So this, this one's new because they did not have this one here this past summer. This one I believe they did have here before. So this is $900 here, reclining headset. This one here, $8.99. All right. And then here... They've got this little pull-out sleeper, but it's like a small one. So this is meant for like a small apartment or something, or maybe even in a kid's room too. But it's cool because when it, when it closes down, it basically just looks like a, a giant ottoman or, a, a, or you know, yeah, like that's what they're calling it. They're calling it a sleeper ottoman. So this is $2.99. That's actually a pretty good price on its own, with or without a sale price going on, you know. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this is the same sectional they had in the summer. This big old leather one. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, $19.99. Now, when they had this in the summer, I think it got down to like $14.99 when it was on sale. And at the end, they still had a hard time selling them. And I, I thought, well, that's strange because these look really nice. And this one has, the, if I remember correctly, the USB 
right inside here. Yeah, see all that? You got two outlets right there, and you got a couple of USBs right there, too. Okay, now they've added uh, the Pike and Main, yeah, the five piece dining sets. This is kind of nice here. This is for like smaller. Mm -hmm. You can even put this in certain kitchens if you have enough room to do an eat in kitchen here. This one's $3.99. Now this one they did not have before, so this one's new. This is $2.99. This is a, a five-piece game top table here. So you can do checkers, chess, whatever you want on this one. And as we come back over here, this looks like the either the same or very similar dining room set that they had before here. This is $5.99 for the seven-piece dining room set here. So six chairs and a table here. And when you look at the wood, I mean, they do get some good quality stuff in here, that's for sure. No two ways about that. But like I said, you wait a little bit and maybe they come on sale. So Josh says, I wish they still sold the stainless steel top and bottom 50-inch toolboxes. Oh, yeah. You know, I thought I saw one here. I'm going to check down one of the aisles in a minute. Okay, so you have this this uh, Martin furniture. This is a 43-inch accent console. It looks really nice, and you know, and, and, but the thing is, and even though the drawers are made high quality, I, I don't think the the, the rollers are. The, you know, the, so it's a little kind of I don't know. You have to you have to pull kind of hard to open it, and there's no close. But at least the quality of the wood of the the drawers. See, um, I've always told people, and it's hard. Maybe it's hard to see it, but you see how you got these dovetails. That's how you know you got a a, a quality drawer there because you never want to see them just staple them you know when you go to the one you see the ones at home depot they're stapled together usually that's what stinks about the like the cheapy ones that they sell there um this is cool here let me show you this guy right here this is that desk that's motorized that goes up and down see this i'm holding down the it's a it's a basically a surface touch screen there so it's it's lowering by itself so you see, you got all the information, and we can make it go up. So that's pretty cool too. So this desk right here, that's an adjustable height desk. That's two ninety nine for that guy. And next to it is, I I really like this because this is such a great price for this. Um, you get this nightstand here that's $199, and it's made with good solid quality. It's not a soft close though, uh, but again, it's got that quality dovetail drawer. See, this is a lot easier to see like this. That's how you know you're getting quality there. And this one too has on the back of it, which I like, it's got two outlets and two USBs. I get to update my end table to something like this because, man, we have wires and plugs and and transformers and everything all over the place and it really doesn't need to be like that this uh, ladder bookcase right here is 149 so that's a pretty good price considering you're getting real yeah never do the glass top desks what did they scratch too much there howie you say don't get the glass top desks here's a, a writing desk that they have here let me see they got it right here well it it's like everything scratches you know the wood will eventually scratch and scuff. <clears throat> so this desk here, uh, I'm trying to see if it, if they say if it's got any USBs or anything connected on the back of it. You dropped your keys and it blew it out. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah. So there's your drawer. It's not very. It doesn't really go back. You know, far a whole lot. So I don't expect to keep a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, they've got this other one here, which. It's a little more rugged and a little nicer looking, I think. And it has more storage. So you got the flat drawer there for the pens and pencils and storage there. See, now these, if you look right there, you can see the screw right there. So it's basically one screw holding these together here. Plus, but they do have these brackets right here holding them together. So these are not dovetailed. These are on the bottom. To the bigger one so I guess for the thinner drawers they they opted not to bother with the dovetail all right so I want to head back around the back side here let's see what else we got an Ikea table yeah 
God, man, Ikea just makes the junkiest stuff. Holy cow. Not only that, their instructions are so hard to read. And I'm an engineer, too. I, I have no problem reading architectural drawings and stuff. But, man, it's like their, their, their language, their, the way their grammar is just awful. All right, so this is nice. This is a 30-inch gray oak vanity for $2.99. What I like about this guy here is this guy here is um, quartz. So you got a quartz top right here. And on this one, this is one of those rare vanities where you see that the, the thing actually comes down. So I normally buy most of my cabinets from J&K. And, and you probably got you, you probably have J&K cabinets in your... Ooh, did you see that? We, we dropped for a second there. I only specify that kind of stuff. And then what I like about these doors here... See, these are soft clothes. So you don't get that at, at, at Home Depot for this price. You don't get soft clothes, typically. So if you want the good stuff at Home Depot, you have to go and sit down at their custom desk and order the really good quality wood. <clears throat> so this is solid wood with a oak veneers on it. And it does come with a, a shelf in here, which they say is adjustable. But, you know, I'm wondering how they're going to fit the P-trap around it, though, because there's no... So I'm um, not too sure about that, how they expect that to fit that p-trap around there <clears throat> and then they have a double version of this guy which oh this looks sweet now they had one very similar to this one over to the summer that I showed you guys before because I remember doing a live stream when I was over in Fort Myers back in June somewhere around June 20th and I showed you guys one that looked like this so this one is $7.99 the one that I showed you was on sale for $5.99 and Nice. So you have quartz here. It comes with the top. You do have to supply your own faucet and your own drain kit and everything. So this has, just like the other one I showed you here, and then the drawer in the middle that's got all sections on it. I like that. And so both sides have one of these. So this is good to put like your tube of toothpaste. I wouldn't put anything that ever gets wet in there ever. Just only dry stuff like a comb or a brush. And then in the middle here we have the drawers. And the drawers are nicely made with the dovetails, see, right there. So, again, that's, you go into Home Depot, you're not going to see that. You're going to, you go to Home Depot and open up their vanities, you're going to see this, just mating right up to the thing there. And what they've done in the past is they shoot three staples in there, and that's, that's just, it's stupid, because over the years, it wants to pull this, the front of the drawer off, it, they're just super cheap. And then if you look, let me see if I can see anything up top there. Oh, see, look at this. You got USB, <clears throat> so you can charge your phone while you're in the bathroom there, and you got power there. I like that. That's nice. And then let me see. Can you see way up in the in the corner up in there? You see that wood block? That's a support block. Let me try to get it way back up there. See right back up in there. So, so they're using real wood as the as the um, support back in the corner here. If you go look at Home Depot, you won't you won't see that. You'll see plastic. You'll see a cheap plastic piece that's stapled on to the wood this here's a wood block that's actually like screwed in all right and you know what they're running some uh deals on these filters these filtreats and so 29.99 look you're getting 10 bucks off you're getting 10 dollars off there for these guys here and that's a pretty good price to get three filters for 30 bucks that's about 10 bucks a piece for like the higher end like the 2200s so that that's pretty top-notch there and let's try to catch up on the see how wide is the double sink I think it's 60 inches let me see yeah 60 inch so that one is one that you can wait for it to come on sale for sure now this bunk bed here I, I showed you guys this back in the summer and I thought this was a gorgeous gorgeous bunk bed. I like the way they carved it out with the raised panels there and everything. Problem is, is they just never sold any of these and I don't have any idea why because they're gorgeous and if you know if I had kids that were of the bunk bed age I would have bought this in a heartbeat because the one I bought at Rooms to Go was just this piece of garbage. It would pay probably pay mostly because it was a Disney themed one and like the you know it's just horrible and you got lots of wood slats here. So this one here right now when you look at it on the price tag there, it says $5.99. Now, we saw this drop down to $3.99 when it goes on sale. So, like, again, you don't buy these the minute they come in. 
And so this here is a dresser for $399. This dresser here is, uh, yeah, it's the Brooklyn. I think this might be the same one they've had in here before. 54 inches. And dovetail drawers. Not, they're not soft clothes. Oh, and here they have an, um, a door chest, or as we usually, usually call these, an armoire. So this guy is 649. So remember, these all just landed on the floor like the day before um, Christmas Eve. So none of these are going to be on sale yet. Okay, so you have that there. And then the smaller section there. And you got a few nice deep drawers here, dovetail. So, so with that armoire, they got a matching bed that you can get. Now, I like it when they do this with the bed. So you see how you got this boxed off area here? And the drawers, it's kind of like a tundle, you know? So you can store some stuff under there. That works out really nice. Now this this bed here, they had definitely, and this is probably a leftover from before Christmas when they had to take all the furniture out of here to make room for the Christmas stuff. I thought this thing just looked looked like old and sleazy, like something you'd see in a Vegas, you know. <laughs> so these are four ninety nine, yeah, for this bed. Um, now they got some storage stuff here. There is some sales on them. Uh, the ones I like the best, these are these are always my favorite types of bins here because the lids are integral. They're built onto it. And don't buy the cheapy, cheapy ones that you see at Target. See, these have the metal rods right there. You always want to get the metal rods, not just plastic snapping around plastic because they're a joke. Well, that bed, it, that's a simple size bed. That's how they make them when they put them on the floor here. That's not like the... Although it is kind of a... Like a... It's not a. It's not made for a couple. I don't think. I don't know. <clears throat> um, so these are these are the kind that I like to get because the lids always stay with them. I hate buying these other kinds where you have to buy the lid like this separate, you know, and then the lids they come off, they pop off, they don't stay on, and what happens is these little things here fail because these are just plastic snapped on the plastic. So when those fail, forget about your lid ever staying on. So that's why. I don't, I don't get that type. I only get this type. And I'm gonna walk you around here and show you what they've got for the uh, these these storage racks now. So I'm gonna show you why I don't like this one here because I have one like this in my garage. So you see how you, the way this works is you got you got the lower section here, and there's an upper section that goes here, right? The problem with having these two like this is it is you're relying on the shelf right here to lock into both of those, but it makes it like a weak. Look, I mean, look, this whole stupid thing's just shaking like, like we're in San Francisco here in an earthquake here. So that's why I don't like this one. And the, the one I'm going to show you down at the end there is better than this one because these end posts right here go all the way up. It's a piece. You're not relying on this. And then the other thing too about this is since you have to rely on that shelf right there being there, you're stuck. That's a permanent shelf there. So you can't fit your trash bins there now. So on mine, in my garage, I wanted to fit trash bins under there. Can't do it because I can't move that stupid shelf, right? But anyway, I'll just show you if in case you want to get it because these are on sale right now. So $47.99, so they're $20 off. Um, this one is a, a sort of a step up, and it's on wheels. It feels a lot more sturdier. It's on, it's uh, just built a lot better. So you got these single piece corner poles here. Hold on. Uh, what is the price on this one? This one is seventy four ninety nine. Yeah, so so it's fifteen bucks off. Yeah, but these these are nice too. Um, and you can lock the wheels, but the one that I really like, and I got to take measurements here and see if this will fit in my garage because it's a little bit longer, um, is this one here. Well, oh, what's the rating on that? Which, the one we just looked at? Or the one we're looking at? Let me, let me just real quick check on both of these here. 
So the rating on this one, six wire, thousand pound weight capacity on this one right here. And the one that we're coming up on has a higher rating than that. <clears throat> Let me see if it says it on there. So you would think they would have it like right on the middle of the box somewhere where it would be easy to read. Hold on, let me see. It says industrial, so it's got to be way up there. Oh, there we go, right there, 2,000 pounds. Okay. So what I like about this one is these corner pieces right here are single piece all the way up from the floor up to the ceiling, which means you're not stuck with a fixed shelf right here, which means I can move this shelf. I can adjust it anywhere I want or take it out and not even populate it. So now I have room to put my garbage bins right there and I can store stuff here. My only complaint about this is I don't think it's very tall. I think this is only like six feet tall. Whereas mine at home is, I think, yeah, seven feet tall. So I can fit another storage shelf and in and store stuff on top of that. But so this one here is 119. I mean, that's a pretty good price to get something that rugged, right? So that's $30 off. So to get something that rugged, that's a pretty darn good price there uh, for that thing. All right. Now we had talked before about that the steel storage rack. I'm gonna uh, the um, we'll see if they have that thing here. Um, I don't know. Have you guys ever tried these Insta crates? So these are these things that supposedly they pop up into a crate like this, and then they f but they fold up and drop flat. These are $6.99. I've never uh, gotten one, but they supposedly uh, work pretty good. So here's how they're showing it right here. So it stores flat like that, folds it down flat, and then boom, pops right up there. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Okay, good. So we're, we're coming up on these. Um, uh, are they on sale? Yeah, they are. So they, they put, they put the um, smoke detectors on sale again. And I want to just mention to you guys that that you know we deal with a lot of property sales and I try to help out a lot of people I know who are selling properties and the biggest problem that we find when the buyer's home inspector comes to to the house to do their inspection is the smoke alarms aren't working which is just stupid we had three kids die in a fire in Miami here um, I think it was on New Year's Eve oh it was terrible but the reason why people don't change the batteries is they're too lazy to right and I can't tell you how many apartments I've been by, even when I used to be a, a, a landlord and I had tenants and I would hear the, the smoke alarm chirping. And like some of our units, we had section eight people in there. So we used to kind of jokingly call it the section eight chirp. And I'm like, how do you live in that apartment all day long with that thing chirping and how do you sleep at night? So now what I only recommend people get is this, the 10 year battery. These things come with a battery that you never have to change and they're good for 10 years. And that's the safest type of smoke detector to get because you'll never forget to change them and you just change it at the end of 10 years and you should test it every month <clears throat> so these are let's see 22.99 right now and yeah so they're seven bucks off and if you get these here this is the two the dual ones that do that they have talking on there and and it's carbon monoxide and smoke these are a little bit more expensive but they're also on sale right now too the two pack yeah you know, whenever i do smoke alarms in my places i always come here or sam's club to get them because you, you get two packs for a lot better price than you would uh pay for a single one over at at like the big box stores so they just got in their first gas grill here and your smoke carbon monoxide detectors are hardwired with battery backup yep well hardwired is now the new code they want them hardwired now um, when you're on new construction. If you have an older place, you're, you're okay. But new construction, they want it hardwired now. <clears throat> so, so this one here, this is pretty pricey, man. $9.99. And I'm always skeptical when they say stainless. Because this, to me, looks like chrome-plated stainless to me. What I always do is I bring my magnet in with me, and I put the magnet down on the grate. And if it doesn't stick, then you know you're not getting pure stainless steel. So mine, mine at home is pure stainless steel. And this right here just looks like chrome. And what happens is these look beautiful in the store, but the first time you use this grill, this one up here is going to start discoloring and staining and all that. 
and then I take my magnets and I put them all over here too and uh, check out and see how how well it rejects yeah and but I do like the fact that you got the electric ignition here oh seeing you got the LEDs on there did you see that the LEDs came on well that's the light button so do we have an electronic ignition I don't know usually I'm I, I expect to see a button there this is it right here yeah you can hear it clicking so yeah, I like that with the LEDs on it. But come on, $9.99 for Weber. For Weber. Okay, I see something way down at the end of the aisle there that's caught my eye. So you guys remember I showed you right before Christmas, they had these, um, the air hockey tables here, right? So there's your air hockey table down at the end. They have one left. And at the other Costco in Pompano that I went to the other day, they had this table marked down to two forty nine ninety nine because it had scuffs and stuff like that on it. But they're still trying to get two ninety nine here on this one. God bless them, man. If they can get it, but I, I don't think it's going to happen because look, they still got one left here, so they couldn't even sell all of the five that they had here at two ninety nine. They only sold three of them, <clears throat> so that's going to be a problem for them guys. Now, I know for a while there they had. And I don't see it here. They had that storage uh, thing there for the tools here. But I guess they did get rid of it. Sam's Club has one right now. And Mobile One's on sale too, by the way. So 10 bucks off right there. So you get six quarts there. Your Mobile One, that's all I can put in. We have two Mercedes cars, so we have to use the Mobile One. Anything synthetic. And they got weather techs here too. You know, if you guys have never seen it, they got the weather techs here for $29.99. I don't know how custom it would be to your car. I don't know if you have to order them, you know, made for your particular car or not. But those there are probably a, a universal size. All right, so there's the, the look of all of the, that was all Christmas and toys. Before. Okay, and I want to head back up towards the front. Just look at some of the other items there. So here's what we got for the haul today, because look at this. So I got my whey protein, the optimum nutrition. This is probably the best one out there. It's called the gold standard. And I can mix that with a spoon and water, and it just perfectly mixes. <clears throat> so this right now is on sale tonight. It's in the ad here. Let me see. Anyway, it's on sale here for, is it $34.99? So Costco normally sells this bag for $49.99. And they've got it on sale right now for $34.99, I think. So like 15 bucks off. I've never, ever seen this priced into the 30s. And if you go to GNC right now, you're going to pay 69 bucks or 60 bucks, I believe, and only get 72 servings. And this one gives you 80 servings. More for less. All right. And it looks like here we have the 14 inch laptop here from HP. That's this guy right here. So he's $299, he's 100 bucks off. And all of the Apple computers have come off the edge. So we had a lot of apples and stuff over there. Everything is completely off. They're back to full price right now. There's not a single Apple product that's discounted in here tonight. And <clears throat> in fact, I don't think any of these guys We have one computer over here. Yeah, so this is the HP 15.6 inch uh, pavilion laptop right here. So this guy's $120 off right now. Let me see if they're saying which chip is on there. Yeah, it's the 10th generation, but it's a Core i5 though. I prefer to get the Core i7. But you know, at this price, that's a pretty good deal to get it at that price. Um, I'm still leery about whether I would buy another HP laptop again because we have a problem with ours where, where every so often the audio just stops working on it and I have to go in to open up the services menu inside the, like the, uh, the Windows operating system and I have to restart the Windows audio again and I don't know why it keeps doing it. Even though it says it's on, I have to go in and I'll stop it and restart it and then the audio comes right back on. Stupid. I know. Uh, so we got... Neutrogena's five bucks off. 
And the fig bars, which I buy a lot of, those are three bucks off. Good thing you don't have Costco, Sam's Club, or BJ's within 200 miles, otherwise you'd be broke. I I am broke. <laughs> All right, so here, you guys have probably seen these before. These are those teeter things. I think, if I'm not mistaken, didn't this guy die last year? I don't know. But this is the, the inversion table here for $2.99. That's a thing that helps your back. You sit on it and hang upside down. What I like, this I think is really cool. I think my, my, one of my teenage daughters would like this thing here. This is a little set of weights right here. 200 pound dumbbell set with a rack for, for $229. So it comes in a, and uh, I guess the rack comes in there and the weights come in there. And there's the price on it there, $229. That looks, I've never seen them have anything in here like this. So they sell rowing machines. They do not have a rowing machine. There is a little machine around the corner here that we're going to take a look at, see what they got. Here they got the Prima mats. These are the yoga mats with the straps for $19.99. Um, this Gym Extreme. So they're calling this the Total Gym Extreme right here. And it says here, Total Body Workout, all in one machine. So who knows, maybe this might I don't know. It doesn't look like it's doing any kind of resistive weights. It's, oh, wait, they might. Because look, see, they got the picture of it set up right there. Hold on, let me try to stabilize this thing here a little bit. Let me find it. They, oh, yeah, right here. So it looks like it sets up like here. Adjustable training deck. Oh, you can get a tablet to put on there, too. But it looks like it'll do some resistive type stuff here on it. So adjustable training it. But it's not, it's not saying on the box which exact exercises. It's showing sort of body regions that you can work on it. So you can probably look that up. Yeah. Look that up online and, and see. <clears throat> but I haven't seen anything like this in Costco here in, in like eons. And you know, it's tax season, guys. In fact, I got to start doing my taxes already this week. So they've got the turbo tax here for 10 bucks off. $39.99. And I don't see the quick in. They used, they used to have quick in here a lot every year too, but I don't see it here this time. Um, but they also have the, the business edition here. It's 15 bucks off. And they got the home and business for $64.99. You have the total gym? All right. Yep. Sometimes uh, there's only somebody on the stream that has something that we show. They can give input on, and let's see. No, let's see. We we got QuickBooks here. We got the Pro plus 90 day support for 189 there. Yeah. All right. So they added a couple more chairs here around by the. So we're over by the front of the store now. So this is 199. This is a Universal Furniture Fabric Accent chair here. 199. It's got some of those rivets along the side there. And let's see what we got on the front side of this display here. This here, is this a sleeper? Oh, it is a sleeper. It's kind of boring looking. It's just a kind of a plain looking, it's a fabric sleeper sofa. And if you look at it, it's, I've never been a fan of that kind of thick, that, that thick stitching wool kind of look. Eh, just doesn't do anything for me. This is $5.99. This one, I don't understand it. I'm, I'm scratching my head because I never liked beanbag chairs. This is what we used to call these. They're calling it a lounger. It's not a beanbag chair. It's a lounger. And it's freaking massive. This thing is huge. I mean, you really need a big room to put this thing in. And so they're wanting $129 for it. So I don't know. I'm just not seeing it. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, all of the Samsung tabs here... They've all come off the sale price that they had at Christmas time, Black Friday, and all of that. Uh, they do have the Apple AirPods, but it's not the Pro, it's the regular one. These are 139, the second generation here. And so I want to check a couple of the other items that we normally look at when we're in here. Okay. Oh, so they got a garment steamer here now. 
So this Conair here, this is $10 off at $29.99. Oh, and they got the, the savings again on these Oral-B uh, toothbrush heads here. So these are 39 bucks. They got 10 bucks off of these. And they also have the system, too. So they had this deal back in September as well. I remember that when they got these in. So these are $99, and they took 35 off of that there. For that system there. And here's what it looks like outside of the box here. Now they got this other kit here. This is the Nutra Ballet, nu the, I'm sorry, the Nutra Bullet. So this guy here is $69.99. They took 30 bucks off right now. They're running a rebate on this right now. Now what I don't know is sometimes, sometimes Costco and Sam's Club will give you a couple of extra accessories in, in the kits that you don't get when you get them from other stores. So, so check on that too. See, here's everything that it comes with. And you'll want to you'll want to know do they is there anything in that kit that uh, doesn't come from somewhere else like when you go to Bed Bath and Beyond? And then there's an app that goes along with this, and I believe it talks Bluetooth. Yeah, it talks Bluetooth to the unit there, not the silver bullet. Hey, they even got the the little handheld. I used to have a little battery operated handheld like this back when I used to just mix my protein powders into the water, but now that I have a Cuisinart. Uh, which I'm going to show you over here around the corner here, uh, that does the, uh, I throw all the vegetables in there and the fruits and stuff. So here you go, this one's 10 bucks off for this kit here. So now if we come over here, I haven't seen them sell a Cuisinart food processor in here. And I don't, I don't even, I can't even remember one ever being in here. So you got Bluetooth blender. <laughs> I don't know. If you're too lazy to get up to go operate it, you just tell it to, to turn on. So this one here is a 13 cup and it's slicing and dicing. So it looks like in the kit here, they, well, I don't think it'll open because it's on the display. Let me see. But they have a, a number of accessories in there. But you know what? It looks a little simpler though than the one I have and it's plastic. So the one I have is a, is a big heavy metal one. So this guy right here, yeah, yeah, because this is 109. Let me show you here. So they got this guy here marked down to 109. So it's $40 off. The one I got, well, I think, was probably closer to $200 back when I got it. And they've also got here this four slice toaster here. Okay. So it's wide enough to hold like the bagels, which I like. What I don't like is see, I don't like we have to keep pushing these things down because I always have a problem with toasters with these things coming down and locking and staying. So the, the toaster I bought at home is motorized. You put the bagels or the toast there and you, you just tell it to start and it goes and pulls them down automatically. This does not, I, I'm done with these mechanisms. I'm done with them. They just never really worked right for me. And here we got the Vitamix. This guy is a hundred dollars off right here. So we've seen this kit come on sale. We've seen it come on sale and go off sale and come back on sale and then go off sale again. And then this is that KitchenAid blender that I've been showing you guys like every month since June in here. Yeah, now you have to worry if they hacked your fridge. My brother-in-law got that Samsung fridge. I think the one with the display on it, the big, huge, like a TV monitor on it. Um, so this one here, don't buy this right now because it's off the sale. They usually drop this 80 bucks every other month. It, so it'll be whatever 80, I think is it 249. Uh, so it'll be 249 next month. And then it'll, the month after that, it'll come back up to 329. So this thing yo-yos up and down every other month. So don't buy it right now. Buy it only when it, when it goes on sale there. And let me see, did we cover everything? I just bought tires the other night. I, I, I bought them on New Year's Eve because I went online to get them because from Costco here, because their thing was gonna expire. And then guess what? I think they extended it. Let me see, I'm looking right here in the flyer. Not there. Yeah, see, there's the tires there. Save 110. That's the same deal. So they extended that same deal on the Michelins. So I just ordered a set of four the other day. 
Normally in the past, what we used to see is Costco and Sam's would run these $70 off, instant off rebates on the tires. But now they've added another 40 because what they're doing is they're giving you a huge break on the installation, which is normally $15 per tire. Snow tires? No, I don't do snow tires. Not down here. Probably they may have them up north, I don't know. But yeah, down here, nope. And I always have to order my tires because they never have the right tires here for Mercedes. They just don't have them in stock here, you know. So that's, I think we got everything. We got the, yeah, there's the Neutrogena there, five bucks off. And let me see if there any other one. So we got the, yeah, that one. If you guys do whey protein, that's the one to come get right now when it's 35 bucks. Because that's normally 50 bucks in here, and it's normally 60 bucks at um, GNC. But the one at GNC is smaller. It only gives you like 72 servings in that in that container there that they got. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, so this this New York Pro set here. This is an 11 piece set here. This is 149.99, and let me show you these guys. These are marked down 80 bucks, right? So this is a good deal here at $149.99. If you look up there, see that? Yes. And then these thermal travel mugs right here, these guys are marked down four bucks to $14.99. So there you have it. And let me see if they got anything else. I think we covered pretty much everything here. Uh, Hey, so I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with us tonight here. We're always glad to have you with us. Tomorrow night, we're uploading a video on... What are we loading? On... I can't even remember. I should have remembered what I'm, what I'm uploading. But it's going to be uploading tomorrow night. And we uploaded another one um, last night. If you guys haven't seen it, it was the best bathroom remodel we've done to date. It was a huge, huge undertaking. So make sure you guys go in there and, and check that one out, too. And if you like what you saw here tonight, please hit that like button down below. Give us a thumbs up. It lets us know that you like us. And you're stupid for smart appliances. I like that. That's a that's a good one. Um, and also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel by now, and we give you all of these world class videos on on remodeling your house, and you'll you'll see we solve the toughest engineering problems as well there, and give you lots of great advice on uh, staying within the plumbing codes and the electrical codes and how to fix the mistakes that are done by people who are unqualified. So make sure you check all of that out too, folks. And I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas, belated, if you haven't been with us in the last week. And have a Happy New Year, and we'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, y'all.